Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, AI iRacing Season Mode. Getting ready for the first race of the season here at Las Vegas, going out to qualify. We'll be piloting number 47 Menards Chevrolet this season for Hendrick Motorsports of all people, so we got a good ride for us this season. Let's see what we can do here as we begin our final lap of qualifying. Uh, we had a bit of an issue on the first lap, and it wasn't that great, as you saw, 35.194. Not the greatest lap at all. We got loose at a turn at two. You might be able to see, and no, I can't see the tire marks, but headed down the back stretch into turn number three. Hopefully, we can get a good lap here and uh, make up some time. I don't know what kind of lap the uh, getting loose again car is very very loose and it's just not easy to drive we're gonna end up qualifying last in a 38 truck field and uh we'll see what we can do to make up the ground we got jennifer joe cobb starting on our out inside and there will be a pit stop probably halfway so after stage two stages are uh 20 40 and then a 40 lap sprint to the finish Getting ready for the start of the season. It's going to be playoffs, everything. Uh, 21 races, I believe. There might be 22. Not 100% sure. All the tracks are your typical NASCAR tracks. There's nothing too insane for now, that is. We'll see what happens here. Um, hopefully we can get a good start to the season. I'm not expecting to win Especially if we qualified last here, but we'll see what kind of speed we have over the long run. I am pretty good at Las Vegas, I will say. Probably one of my favorite ovals to race here. Pace car is off. You know, right on the back bumper of Colby Howard, and green flag is out here at Las Vegas. Got a pretty good start. Had to shift up early, so we wouldn't get into the back of the 91 truck yet again. And here is another outside view. Of the star, we didn't really get the best stars. You can see Joe Cup clears us, and up front, it's Ben Rhodes and Grant Enfinger battling for the race lead down the back stretch and into turn three. Grant Enfinger is gonna be able to clear Ben Rhodes and take the race lead. With Christian Eckes, John Hunter, Nemechek, Zane Smith, Sort Friesen all battling for second. Lap 6 now, we're already worked up halfway through the field, just about halfway through stage number 1. Trying to work our way up, we have a good car, these AI aren't the greatest here. Get to the outside of Mads Benedetto and work on the 33 of Jason White, right to the rear bumper of him. We have a lot of speed here, so hopefully we can turn this into a great long run truck. We'll see what happens coming up on time at Jeski in the 66 for Thor Sport. Good run out of turn number two for us. We're trying to get to the outside. We're going to keep it in the throttle for the most part, but and keep it on the inside. We don't want to burn up our tires too much because we still have to catch up to the race leader eventually. Because I don't know if we're going to pit at the end of stage one yet or not. But uh, we shall see. We've got quite a long way to go here. Let's get to the inside of Corey Roper for our 11th position. And we're still trying to get around the 66. We get a little loose out of turn two, all the way to the inside. And this is at the point where there's a stink bug on my uh, hand, and I'm trying to get it off. And it takes more than one try <laughs> to get it off. We'll dive down again there. Yeah. A little bit of issues here <laughs> during the race. But uh, we'll move up to 10th on lap nine after starting all the way in the back. We're already up 28 spots. Issues for Tyler Anchor there on the outside lane. Didn't have a good uh, corner there as we get to the back of Austin Wayne Self for 8th position. Now at this point in the race, I'm feeling pretty confident in the truck. It feels great. I feel like it's definitely going to be fast all race long. But we haven't really gotten a really long uh, stint. It's only 20 laps for each stage, so... We'll really have to wait for that final 40 lap uh, stage to see how it really works. And Storefreeze, and he'll be a competitor later on tonight. So 
keep an eye on him. He's running sixth right now, now fifth. So we split Ben Rhodes and him three wide. So we break this top five ourselves on lap 10, making some steady progress, passing at least one or two cars per lap at this rate. Zane Smith, Christian Eckes, John Hunter Nemechek, and I uh, can't remember who was leading at this point in time, but I want to say it was the 44 of Chris Wright. No, it was Grant Entrenner, sorry. Chris Wright led at the beginning of stage two, but we'll get to that then when we get there. Clear Christian Eckes pretty easily. Zane Smith in the 38 Loves Travel Shop Ford for Front Row Motorsports. Having a good run as he is having in the real life truck series in 2022. This is all 2022 rosters, by the way, if you haven't uh, realized that yet. For the most part, might be a few uh, different cars here and there, but we'll see what happens here. We'll break the top three there on lap 12. Moving up to just five laps to go in stage one. We get up to Grant Enfinner in his GMS Champion Chevy. Trying to get the race lead here. We're going to try the outside line. We're going to get a great run off of turn number two. So we dive down into turn three, way off the throttle. Car starting to feel a little snug on exit now. So I really have to start backing up our entries. And it gets loose, actually, out of turn four that time. Be able to clear him in on the final lap of stage number one. Take the race lead by a big margin, and I'm pulling it up to throw the yellow because I don't have it key binding because I forgot to do that before <laughs> I uh, started the race. And at turn four, in our first career race, we are going to score the victory of stage number one here in Las Vegas. We'll wait for the 10th place car, which at the time is time and Jessica to cross the line. And uh, we have a little bit of a mishap as we are catching up to the pace car here. Slowing down, and then I wasn't expecting the four car to come up that fast, and I would just honestly wasn't paying attention. And that gave us a good amount of right side damage. So, uh, at this point in time, we're 20 laps in. I'm expecting everyone to pit. But you'll see what happens here soon. And I'm not really thinking of where the pit stall is going to be either, so I'm thinking it's going to be like the middle of the thing. And I kind of forgot that we qualified last, so, uh, we pit, no one follows us except for like the bottom half of the field. Slow down to pit road speed. Completely don't see my box until like the last thing, like, oh no. So we'll get it in reverse. Definitely had a lot of problems during the end of stage one. And we'll get back going here. We'll be lining up behind the 24 of Jack Wood, I do believe. Unless it's someone else in this roster, because I know he's only part-time, I do believe at least. And green flag is out, we got another good jump, but had to shift up to third gear early just so we wouldn't get into him. Parker Kligerman in the 75, also back here with us. Fast forward a few laps, everyone's three wide, we're trying to make up some progress. Inside lane, major checkup, we're hard on the brakes here. And actually, out of turn four, we get into the nine of Blaine Perkins. Out of turn two, sorry. And into the 12 of Spencer Boyden. Get super loose and almost loop it around. And we somehow save it. We're able to keep it going. And uh, very quickly, we call it back up to the pack just because how much speed we have. Fast forward to the end of stage number two. We win stage number two yet again. And there is no challenge by anyone else there. And this time it's Matt Crafton, the final car inside the top 10. He'll get one stage point. And that is the end of stage number two. Everyone pitted. No issues for us that time, though. So pace car going to come off of the speedway now. Getting ready for the restart yet again. And green flag is back. We're rolling up through the throttle and through the gears. Got a really good restart here to kick off stage number two. But uh, this doesn't last very long. As uh, heading into turn one. We just move up the track a little bit. 
and Carson Hosevar and Stuart Friesen are able to get on our inside. And Hosevar is going to clear us. And I was like, hoping that the outside lane would have momentum, but on these fresh tires, not so much. So we're already really, really struggling to get going here. We're in fourth as of right now. Chris Wright in the 44 truck on our inside for Nice Motorsports. Two Nice trucks inside of the top three. And it's Grant Infinner, Matt Crafton behind us. Hosevar not able to clear the 52 truck. He'll go into second, loose out of turn two. And that's going to bite us in the butt again in three and four here as we head into three. Get a little loose there, move down in front of the 44. And then it gets around on us, but we save it yet again. And then Matt Crafton and Jordan Anderson, Grant Infinner, Timmy Hill all get around us. We lose a ton of time. Fast forward just a couple laps coming to 30 to go. We get ourselves back up into fourth position. This time we're taking it nice and slow. We're not going to really push it too hard because we don't want to burn up our tires. Because we still have like two stages left. Two and a half stages basically. Lap times are pretty like half a second off here as of right now. And as you can see, we gained a lot of time in just that one lap alone on the three cars ahead of us. Grand Enfinner, Carson Hosevar, Stuart Friesen, top three with myself and Zane Smith coming in very closely. I'm trying to figure out our entry and exit because we're mainly losing time on the exit. Except for when they check up there at a turn two. I don't know why they do that, but they just do. Las Vegas is not a very competitive track. I have these AI on 110%, I do believe. Unless I'm just that good, I don't know. I doubt I am, but we'll see. As we're able to clear the 42 for third, with 29 laps to go. I don't know if he had, or what kind of issues he had during that. But it wasn't very good because, I mean, he lost a ton of time. And then 23, huge check up in front of us. We get to his inside. But he ends up clearing us before this turn three. But we're going to throw it in there. Not quite. Kind of wiggles there. But uh, not able to get on his inside on the exit of four. At this point, Hosevar kind of coming back. Gaining some more time behind us. As you can see, he is almost right on our rear bumper, heading to third one. And then there's Zane Smith just popping out of nowhere, saying, Hello, boys. I'm here, too, you know. And then behind him, Chris Wright still. It's 27 laps to do. This is actually a really long race. I think it took me over an hour or so to record, something like that. I don't know. It was fun, though. Coming up on the bumper of Grand Infinite now. I think it finally figures our exits out. It wasn't really all that hard to do. But we'll see what kind of run we get here on the 23 machine. Going to pop up on his outside. He's going to clear us for now. But I'm hoping that we get a big run here out of turn two. And we do. As you can see, we're going to get right to the rear bumper of him. Move to his inside. And we're going to clear him going into turn number three. Because they just completely roll out of the throttle. On corner entry if they enter too high. I don't know why they do that. And now coming to 25 to go. There's only one more car between us and getting a win. You know, 25 laps to go. I'm feeling pretty good with uh, how this could potentially go for us. Stuart Friesen is, hasn't won since 2019. As of right now. I don't know if he might get a win in 2022. Not for sure. He probably should have won this race, but we'll see what happens throughout the rest of the race. But Sore Friesen having a great run. So am I in my career debut race. Brent and Finner running the third good start for the season for most of these drivers, especially Carson Hosevar and Chris Wright in the 44 truck. Coming up on just a few laps to go here. Five. No, not five to go, sorry. Fifteen to go, I think. I can't do math right now, but uh, we have the lead now over Stuart Friesen. Second, just about. And he's starting to gain some time back. 
As you can see, he gained over four tenths of a second back on us. In just that one lap, we're starting to get a little loose. Especially in the center of the turn. We got 14 laps to go. He's now within a second of us. And closing the gap even more. Keep in mind, we haven't had a run this long before. So we don't know how it's going to turn out to be overall. So we'll see what happens here. We have 13 laps to go now. And sort of reason, gaining even more time. Turn 1 and 2 is definitely not good for us. It's too bumpy. We get super loose. We gain no time at all. We're just not able to pull away co to a comfortable lead anymore. Like we were able to during the stages. The gap now within three tenths of a second between the 52 and I. And let's see what's going to happen here. Going into turn one. Is he going to move to his inside? Not quite able to get there. Try to run it a little bit higher. And move down low. Didn't help us. We did get a slightly better exit though than the 52. He has our draft going to turn three. We're going to slide up high. Try to make it work for us. We've seen it work before. But it just. We get too tight. And we lost all of the momentum we had. I was hoping we were going to be able to run away from him. From going up top. But now we know. That that is not going to work. Less than 10 laps to. Less than 5 laps to go even. As we are trying to get to the back bumper of the 52 car. I think the only way we can get around him for right now is with bumping him out of the way. Three laps to go. We get a great entry into one. And I think that's where we might try to make a move on him. So we head into turn two and down the back stretch. Great run for us here. And our 47, a little wiggle there. We're going to keep it going though. I think we're going to try to get around him here. Checks up in one corner. We bump him. Doesn't work. He's still in the racing group. We got to his inside, though. But he was able to clear us. Two laps to go now here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So we're trying to get our first career win. And I'm sure Stuart Friesen is not happy with us at all. We're going to get back to the back bumper of him again right on the rear bumper. We're going to move to his inside now. Can we make it work on the inside? And Friesen able to get a run on the outside of us. He's still going to keep the lead. If you see like uh, gray lines around their uh, wheel wells or uh, on their front fenders, it's because uh, these are these paint schemes were all made before the 2022 templates were released on iRacing. And now we're going to move to his outside with a great run out turn to major sideways out, out of the corner so we're gonna head down into turn number three trying to make it stick full throttling it we are able to clear him and at turn number four we're gonna win our first career race at las vegas motor speedway and only our first race in the nascar camping world truck series and what a great way to do it. We led the most laps overall, but just by one lap over short freezing. So it wasn't the biggest upset to anything. We accidentally hit the 52 there. And now we are going to go ahead and get ready to do some of our victory celebrations. Our first career win coming here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're going to burn it down big time. Party hard and we hit the outside wall. We'll get used to doing burnouts eventually. I hope. First win of hopefully many. We get a black flag for going the wrong way. I tried to clear it, but it didn't work. And that is all she wrote. Thank you all for watching today's race, today's video. If you did enjoy it, please comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a new NR2003 career mode video.